Hi, I'm Christy from Stay With It, and welcome to That's Engineering. Today I'm hanging out with Stanley, and Stanley is a second year PhD student at Georgia Tech. He is studying human-centered computing, and currently he's interning at Intel in Intel Labs in the user experience research team. He is an Intel diversity scholar, uh, super happy to have him today. So Stanley, can you tell me a little bit about um, what you're doing in your internship, what sort of projects are you working on? So this summer I'm working on the Stephen Hawking Aster project, which is led by Lama Nachman. And essentially what this project is, is we're reconfiguring Stephen Hawking's current computer. Um, he uses his computer to communicate, uh, make Word documents and emails, different things like that. He can essentially navigate his entire computer using this system. And one of the top priorities on this list is to be able to communicate more efficiently. Mm -hmm. And when we mean efficiently, we mean reducing the number of inputs or keystrokes per character or word. So say for example, if he wants to spell like alphabet or some very long word, he shouldn't have to type out alphabet. Mm -hmm. He should have to type out A-L and then alphabet should pre-populate in a word bank. So we're working to do that. The thing is this work hasn't really been done before. There's been a lot of research, um, University of Washington and Carnegie Mellon, mm -hmm. but as far as applying it to an accessibility realm and different things like that, um, it's a lot of uncharted territory. Mm -hmm. So what my goal is to at least be able to do is we've got this new Muse headset and in the past Stephen Hawking hasn't been too receptive to headgear. Mm -hmm. the, I don't know why <laughs> it is but he hasn't been too receptive to it. Mm -hmm. But there's this new product called the Muse which is a brain computer interface so that it would essentially add another mouse click or another keystroke mm -hmm. um, or a form of a keystroke. So I guess at the end of the summer the goal would be to at least get over to the UK and actually fit him with this device and see how receptive he is to it. Mm -hmm. It's very small, very lightweight, very unobtrusive, so I'm hoping that he likes it. I'm yeah. not we're not sure what's <laughs> gonna happen with that, but I'm hoping that he likes it. That's really cool. That sounds like a an awesome project to be working on. So you're an intern and what were your expectations of interning at Intel? Um so my expectations of interning at Intel well, obviously, I thought I was going to be making the new processor, the next Broadwell or something like that. But um, coming in, I knew that Intel was uh, transitioning more so into towards the wearable space and user experience and different things like that. And that's really why I was interested in the company, of course. And just seeing, um, of course, with wearables, this is a very new, uh, very new ground, very new territory, and nobody has done it right yet. Mm -hmm. So for Intel to be at the vanguard of that movement and to say, okay, look, we're we're willing to put money up to do different things like that to acquire a basis or whatever else we need to get to mm -hmm. be the contenders in this realm, that's what we're gonna do. And for me, I'm like, okay, wow, they're getting all the resources that I want and that I right. need. So of course, I'm thinking like, okay, so what are we gonna do if it's Aster? What's what's the next iteration of Aster gonna be? Um, one of the goals from Aster is to at least push it into the open source community. So how can we do that? Do we have the tools to do that? Mm -hmm. And if we can get all that done by the end of the summer, which I, that's very <laughs> ambitious. Mm -hmm. But if we were able to, that would be like the greatest summer internship ever. So Awesome. That's really cool. So I heard that you had a really interesting way of getting acquainted with Intel. Can you tell me a little bit about what that was? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, so. I was a Intel diversity scholar, uh, Intel UNCF, United Negro College Fund recipient three times in undergrad. Mm -hmm. And essentially Intel paid about paid for about a fifth of my education. So they paid for like every Monday I was in class. <laughs> basically every Monday I was in my dorm or any, whatever, however you want to look at it. So I went to apply for the scholarship again as a graduate student. Mm -hmm. And of course the eligibility requirements um, were that you had to be an undergrad. Okay. So I started the application, but I didn't submit it. And I got a phone call like a few weeks later from Mr. Hopte at UNCF. And he asked me why I hadn't completed my application. Mm -hmm. And I told him like, I would, I would complete it that same day if I needed to, if it's that big of a deal. But um, I read that I was ineligible, so I didn't, I didn't go forward with mm -hmm. it. And he said, oh, okay, okay, that's right. It's only for undergraduates and things like that. And about 15 minutes later, he calls me back saying like, yeah, we saw that you uh, received the scholarship three times in undergrad mm -hmm. and um, you're like one of the only students who've done that and different things like that. And uh, how would you feel about going out to San Francisco to go to the UNCF Mayor's Mass Ball? And I'm like, a free trip to San Francisco, of course, <laughs> let's go. So I got in contact, they put me in contact with another lady at UNCF. And she told me, she's like, oh yeah, thanks for agreeing to speak at this event, Stanley. And I'm like, oh wow, I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know anything about the speech. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, okay, cool, that way I can you know, at least say thank you and different things like that. So we get to the event, it's like, five or six hundred people like all of these like big wigs like of course Richard Taylor was there people like Roz mm -hmm. and 
I'm just sitting here like, man, like I'm just a, I'm just a graduate student. <laughs> it was hilarious. But um, so I go speak and, you know, I'll tell them a little bit about myself where I went to undergrad mm -hmm. and, you know, I guess my, my journey to where I am today. And everybody was everybody really enjoyed it. It was it was hilarious. Mm -hmm. And I, it's really like still a blur because I don't remember too much of Raza's speech. Mm -hmm. I just remember her calling me up to the stage and saying like, OK, so what you guys don't know is Stanley just interviewed for a job. And I'm sitting here like, wow, <laughs> I'm in grad school. Like, what do you mean I just interviewed for a job? So she says you've just interviewed for a job mm -hmm. um, and, and you in the REP program. And we'd like to extend you an offer on stage in front of all these people. And I'm sitting here like I'm about to cry. Like, are you serious? So it's still like very emotional for me to talk mm -hmm. about it. Is, it was it was probably one of the like top five greatest moments of my life. Wow. So then after she spoke, um, like I said, I don't remember too much about her speech, but she introduced me to Richard Taylor and we exchanged mm -hmm. phone numbers and, and different Richard things. Richard Taylor is the um, vice right, president of the right, HR. Right, right. So we exchanged phone numbers and things like that. And it's, it's just <laughs> funny to think about like that one scholarship application mm -hmm. that I didn't complete led me here. <laughs> so, wow. I mean, go Intel yeah. <laughs> and all that stuff. That's really cool. That's a, that's a great story. And that's, <laughs> Awesome for you. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sure. And so your research sounds really, really cool, and I mm. want to hear more about it. So hopefully at the end of your internship, we'll be able to get you back on the show. Oh, definitely. Talk a little bit definitely. more about the, the project that you did and a little bit more about human-centered computing. So okay. I'd love to hear more about it. So, well, thank you so much for oh, thank you. us Thank you. I appreciate time. it. This was a lot of fun. And um, I'll see you next time on That's Engineering.